Hi, my name is Chris and today I want to talk to you about building and using toggles in Adobe Captivate 2017. As an e-learning developer, a toggle will be one of your most powerful tools and one of your best friends. I use toggles in every project I build. In fact, in about 99% of my projects I use multiple toggles. I use toggles to control the state of objects, to control the audio, to control the video, to control menus. I just use toggles for all sorts of things. Um, and today I want to go over how to build a simple toggle and I want to kind of break it down how it works. So as you can see I've got a project already started with two slides. The first slide has a couple of buttons on it and an image in the middle. The second slide is blank and on that second slide that's where I'm going to demo how to build the toggle. But first I want to demo how, to how this toggle works. So I'm going to go to preview and I like to preview as HTML5 in browser. I'm going to click that. It's going to open up in my default, default browser, which in this case is uh, Google Chrome. And you will see that there is an off button here. There's an X button here. There's an image in the middle of the screen, just like we saw in Captivate. So if I click the next button, it's just going to go to the next slide. I'm not going to do that because there's not a back button on the next slide. We go there, we're stuck. But I'm going to demo this off button. And this button is a toggle. It controls two things. It controls the state of this image and it actually controls the state of the button as well. So if I click it, the image becomes full color and the button turns red. And now instead of saying off on it, it says on. If I click it again, both objects go back to their original state. No matter how many times, it's just off and on. Alright, so let's look at how we're going to, or how to build that. So, on the second slide, I'm going to start by getting an image. I click on media and then image, and I want to grab this one, crab with shells off. Like the first slide, it's a silhouette. I'm going to click on the properties panel over here. I'm going to name this. Very important that you name your stuff, especially in big projects. And I'm going to click state view. And I'm going to come over to the left side and I'm going to click where it says new state. And this is where we're going to create a state for that color image. And I'm just going to call this one on. Click OK. You can see it's it's just a duplicated it's just duplicated the original state is the silhouette inside of an outline so make sure that the on state the one you just created is outlined come back over here to the center right click and delete and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna grab that color image grab with shells because I didn't move the original image, the first one I put on there, I don't have to move this one, they're in the same spot. And I'm going to exit state. And I'm done with the image for right now. The next thing I need to do is I need to create a button. And I like to use smart shapes, so I'm going to come up to shapes, click on that, and I like the rounded triangle. As you can tell, I use it a lot. Grab the rounded triangle, I'm just going to draw a button right here, and the double click. And then I'm going to tap off in the button. And then I'm going to come over to the right side and I'm going to name it. I'm just going to call it on. Let's call it on off. And then I'm going to click use this button. And I'm going to click state view. And just like we did a minute ago, new state custom. I'm just going to call this state on. Click OK. And now make sure it's outlined. Come over here and double click in it. And I'm just going to edit that to say on. And then I'm going to change the color as well. Make it red with a black border. And I'm going to go to this one. And I'm going to double click. And I'm just going to take off, off just going to remove off from it. Then I'm going to exit state view. And now I'm ready to build the action. So I'm going to come up to project. 
click on advanced actions I'm going to do a, a couple of things the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable so I'm going to click on the variables button click add new and I'm going to call this variable toggle let's call it toggle underscore control control has an R in it and then I'm going to set the value to zero. I'll click save. Close that. It's important that you name your variables something that makes sense, not only to you, but to anybody else that might use it. If somebody looks at this project, they see that variable, it says toggle control, they're going to associate it with one of the toggles. I want to name my action toggle. I'm going to call this control and then I'm ready to build the action. Now this is going to be a conditional action. It's a, if you're a programmer this is an if then else statement. Uh, if not, well I think you'll understand once you see this. So we're going to click conditional tab and we're going to look if all actions are true we're going to pick our variable, which is toggle controller, remember. If it's equal to literal zero. Remember we set the initial value, value to zero. So if somebody clicks this button and the value of toggle control is zero, then this is what's going to happen. We're going to assign toggle controller we're going to assign that variable a value of 1. So the next time they click it, it'll be 1, not 0. Then we're going to do two things. We're going to change the state of crab with shells to on. So we're going to make it color. And then we're going to change the state of the on off button to on. So we're going to make it red and it's going to read orange. Or read on. Now down here you see else. We're going to click on this. This is what happens when toggle control is not equal to zero. So the first time they hit it, hit the button, toggle control is equal to zero, and it gets changed to one. The second time they hit it, it's equal to one, or it's not equal to zero. So instead of doing this, Captivate will do this. We'll assign toggle control with a literal zero and then we're going to change the state of crab with shells to normal and we're going to change the state of on off to normal let's save that action so think about it like this this button's a light switch when the lights off this button equals zero press the button the light comes on and the value becomes 1. Press the button again, light goes off, the value becomes 1. And it, this whole control runs off of if that variable toggle control is equal to 0. If it is, it does this. If it's not, it does that. So, I'm going to close that and then we need to apply the action to the button. So with the button, with the button selected, we'll come over to Actions, and then down here on Success, we're going to click on that, use Advanced Actions, and the name of the action we just built is Toggle. I'm going to put that in there, and then let's preview it and see what happens. Again, I like to preview as HTML5 in browser. I like to do this. I want to look at the whole project to make sure something didn't break, to make sure I didn't inadvertently mess something up that I built earlier. So let's look at the first slide. Everything's working like it should. We'll click that next button, and this is the one we just built. Now you can see where we deleted off off that button. I'm going to hover over there. It's going to go away. And if I click it, 
the state change the state of the button changes to on and our crab is no longer a silhouette and I can switch back and forth as much as I like and this is a simple toggle but it's a good example of what you can do you can use a toggle to control audio to control video to control the state of objects um, to change the color of something you can use toggles for just a tremendous amount of stuff and they can get pretty complex in the if else part but the variable is always going to be zero or one it, the toggle is always going to be on or off I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And until next time, happy captivating.